What's up, Mathate? Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Math with Mullins. Today, we're going to talk about Lesson 2.5, Day 2. This time, we're just adding on the one solution piece, which we have done in the past before, um, and we're going to see what that looks like here in a minute. No solution and infinitely many solutions, though. That's just a review from Day 1. So if you need to, you can go back and look at 2.5, Day 1. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get started. So what we want to do here is go ahead and solve for the variable. Um, if you are ready to solve this on your own and you don't need any help, go ahead and pause the video now. Try this on your own, moving all variables to one side and solving for x. Then click play when you're ready to check. All right, first thing I did was add 3x to both sides. Just because I have a negative 3x, I'm going to do the opposite, which is a positive 3x. So I get 6x minus 1 equals 1. Then I needed to undo any adding or subtracting, so I'm going to add 1 to both sides. 6x is now equal to 2. Last but not least, I will divide both sides by 6. So I'm going to get x is equal to 2 divided by 6, which if you simplify that, simplifies to 1 third. So we're going to say x is equal to 1 third. This is representative of one solution. When you can find a solution where x is equal to one number, then that would indicate a singular solution. Okay. Let's try this one, writing and solving the equation. Show your work. Again, when you're ready, go ahead and pause the video, try it on your own, and when you're ready to check it, click play. First thing I'm gonna do is do a lot of distribution. Let's start with the left side. One third times two B, that is two thirds B plus one third of nine is three. Then over here, I'm gonna do two thirds times nine over two, and then two thirds times B. Two times nine is 18, and 3 times 2 is 6. 18 over 6 is equal to 3. And 2 thirds times b is just another 2 thirds b. If you look at your equation now, it's pretty much the same thing. 2 thirds b plus 3 is equal to 3 plus 2 thirds b. So I'm going to stop right there because this is a true statement or a true equation. So my answer for here would be infinitely many solutions. Okay. Again, I didn't even have to go any further than that. I just simplified my equation to where both sides of the equation were equal to one another. Here's number three. Again, let's pause the video. Try it on your own. When you're done, click play to check your work. All right, first thing you hopefully did was distribute on the left side. Six times five is 30 minus 12 V, because that's six times a negative two, equals negative four times three V is negative 12 V. And then negative 4 times 1 is a negative 4, okay? You might already understand what to do here because you see you have a negative 12v on the left side, a negative 12v on the right side, but on the left we have a 30 and on the right side we have a negative 4. So this is probably going to end up being a no solution just because I have two of the things that are correct, but that negative 4 and that 30 are not equal to one another. This is what I mean by that. I'm going to go ahead and add 12B to the, 12v to the left side where those will cross off. So all that's left is 30 on the left and negative four on the right. 30 is not equal to negative four, so this one would be a no solution piece. Okay, again, we're gonna try that same thing in number four, pausing the video here, and when you're done, click play. Before I even go on, I'm gonna go ahead and say I know this one. This one you should have went ahead and said no solution because you should notice that maybe we can actually have one solution. Just kidding. Let's see what happens. My prediction was no solution, but we'll see what happens here. I'm going to subtract 3.5x and put it on the left side. So 4 minus 3.5 is 0.5x. And then minus 9 equals minus 9. Then I'm going to add 9 to both sides. These cancel out, but if you notice on the right side, they also cancel out, which is equal to zero. 0 0.5 equaling zero still can be divided by 0 0.5. So zero divided by 0 0.5, I'm getting X is equal to zero. So that one actually is one solution. So my prediction was wrong, okay? So that's probably why we also wanna make sure we're writing out what we've got. If I want to go and plug this back in, four times zero, 
minus 9 is equal to 3.5 times 0 minus 9. So if you notice that your constants are matching, like the minus 9 minus 9, but your variables are not matching with the coefficients, that probably means x will be equal to 0, 1 solution. All right, we got a number 5 and a number 6, and then we'll be done. Here we go. Pause it now. Try number 5. When you're ready to check, click play. First things first, we're going to distribute on the left side. 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 4 is 8. Equals 6x, being very careful here, we're distributing a negative 2. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4x, and negative 2 times 3 is a negative 6. Let's go ahead and combine like terms. 2x plus 8 is all good, but over here we can do 6x minus 4x, which is 2x minus 6. Again, we're seeing our constants are not matching. So let's see what happens here. I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides to move my variables over to the left. 2x minus 2x cancels out, so all that's left is 8 equals negative 6. These are not matching, so we have to say no solution. Okay, so one more time. No solution is going to happen when your variables match, but your constants do not. One solution will happen when your constants match, but your variables do not, okay? So keep that in mind as we're moving forward. Last one, number six, pausing and solving. When you're done, click play. First thing you did was to hopefully distribute both sides of the equation. So I'm going to have 5x plus 3x minus 12 equals 2 minus 3x minus 12. Combine any like terms. On the left side, I have 5x plus 3x. That is 8x minus 12. And on the right side, I can combine 2, being very careful, and negative 12. That's a negative 10 minus 3x. Okay? Next, I'm going to start moving my variables to all one side. I'm going to add 3x. To my left side, so I get 11x minus 12 equals negative 10. Then I'm going to go ahead and undo any adding or subtracting. Let's add 12 to both sides. This one I'm going to get a fraction, I'm thinking. 11x equals negative, or not negative 2, but positive 2. Final step, dividing both sides by 11, dividing both sides by 11 x is equal to 2 elevenths for this last one. So we did end up getting a fraction. If you tried using a decimal, I think it repeats.